we got our injectors rebuilt and uh, sent back and everything looks good I kind of looked them over real quick and uh, everything you know appeared to be to be nice this is how they were packaged uh, he uh, had to use some old boxes of his because they had some some snow we had some snow and there was some problems getting the uh, getting the items to me but either way uh, you can see here that the uh, the new new injector o-rings have been installed and uh, he has cleaned everything up and uh, I'll put his information down below, but it's American Diesel Injection, and uh, he has cleaned the nozzles, and I took a look at one of them, but uh, here's, uh, here's how they turned out. So they look, look pretty nice, new copper washer and everything. So um, I'm excited to get these in and give them a shot. So what I've done is uh, I took a screwdriver and kind of put a rag on the end of it there and uh, ran it down inside of the uh, injector cup, the cup that's in the head there that holds the where the crush washer goes. And uh, I cleaned out just some old fuel and oil and everything that got kind of just settled down in there. And uh, so. I removed the little plastic or rubber cup that was protecting the the nozzle tip there and um, yeah that looks great make sure that washer is in there o-rings are all in place just kind of double checking everything before I go go for it but um, so yeah so we're gonna take the injector and we're just gonna ease it down in here and pick up on this plate so that it clears the the bolt that's at the top that we left in there in the first place kind of wiggle it a little bit jiggle it a little bit there it goes it went on in and uh, I've seen some guys beat these with the rubber mallet to get them in which is is fine but I've gotten the uh, I've gotten it in far enough to get the the metal plate that's uh, right near the coal here already around the top the top of it there. I've got my my hammer here with this rubber uh, grip on it. I'm just gonna kind of there it goes. And you heard it kind of change. I don't know if you heard the sound change, but that's how you know it's 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 on in there. And then uh, that's it. So making sure that I obviously install it with the uh, the plug for the wiring harness here toward the center of the engine uh, that's that's kind of key and you want to you know these these the writing on the coil should be legible from the side of the vehicle on both sides so uh, yeah there's how the injectors get installed and the rest of them are just like that um, now I did go ahead and uh, I went ahead and pulled out the um, glow plugs while I had all the injectors out. That was uh, that was nice to do. So I can blow the fuel and oil out of the combustion chamber before I actually start it up. So I'll turn it over by hand. So before we get the injectors actually completely installed. Um, I went ahead and, and removed all of the glow plugs and the glow plugs are located uh, you know if this is the hopefully you can see that uh, maybe I'll get you in there Let's see here so here's the electrical connection of the glow plug right here that little silver that little silver dot and uh, it takes a 10 millimeter deep well socket so you can use a um, uh, I had a 3 8 that actually worked I've seen some guys using a quarter but um, you know just as long as you get it out of there and then you can put them back in once the injectors are in after you've turned the engine over to blow out any um, 
fluid that might have built up in there. So, all right, let's. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the injectors in, and uh, you know it's the same process for all the rest of the seven of them. Uh, you can see that one went in, went in very easily, and uh, that was was not an issue. So, all right, uh, I'll get back with you after they're in. So here's a glow plug, um, and they, like I said, they go in here, and all I did was just loosen them up with a, um, all I did was loosen them up with this 10 millimeter deep well socket and a three inch extension, and uh, you can see that fits on there just perfect. And uh, once I got them loose, I just took some needle nose and uh, went went way down inside of there and just picked it up where the the flats of the um, you know the socket would go and uh, they popped right out of there then I just kinda wrapped them up in this in this towel and uh, I'm gonna leave them there until I put them all back in after I blow the motor out I've got all the injectors in and now it's time to put in the uh, the little hold down bolts that uh, go on the bottom of the the metal little bracket there. Uh, some of these in the back, uh, the back ones were a little tricky. Uh, so what I did was I got them started and got them kind of going the right direction, and then used a um, either this extension and a hammer to kind of drive the back side of this uh, hold down clamp down. And what that did is it really helped, uh, you know, seat it enough. I didn't go to try to seat it completely because we're going to do that with these these bolts here. So we're just going to take our time and um, get them started without dropping one in the engine or something, you know. So just hold on to it and slowly get it in there and try to uh, try to get it started there maybe by hand a little bit and and uh, we're gonna go grab our eight millimeter and tighten them down I know these don't need to be you know uh, ring the head off tight but um, they do need to be tight to hold the the injector in there so uh, here we go it looks like this setups gonna work fairly well 8 millimeter quarter inch drive, quarter to 3 eighths adapter, 3 inch 3 eighths extension, and ratchet. I'd also say an 8 millimeter deep well would probably be adequate for, for this. I just don't have one with me. I'm just tightening these down like I said not going to try to wring the head off or anything and I'm really not familiar with what the torque spec is uh, I'm sure there is one but uh, when I took the old ones out the ones that had been in there for 330,000 miles uh, they were about that tight so however that is however much that is Back here in this uh, far corner, I had to use this combination wrench and I flipped it upside down, kind of in, I say upside down, kind of in this direction, and I could get underneath of there really easy to tighten that bolt down. I uh, just want to let you know, but the rest of them were super easy with the ratchet and that extension setup that I had. Uh, next up is the little diverters that go on the uh, injectors and uh, these just go right right back how we took them off and uh, so yeah they they just bolt right into the little metal flange that's um, pull the bolt back a little bit just slide right in there and uh, and then just get tightened right down there. So this is a 3 16th Allen wrench, if I remember correctly. Or something close to it. Yep, it was. 
Yep, and it's going right in there. So, yep, just put all those back on and uh, tighten them down real good. And then we're going to turn it over and see what happens. Uh, see if we can get a little, little bit of that junk from the combustion chamber out and uh, get it cleared out a little bit. I've got the little diverter spouts on and then I went ahead and put the valve covers on just really loosely with this uh, just one bolt in each side and uh, looks like uh, looks like I might want to maybe tighten these down a little bit better yeah I got a little oil dripping out of them already so I might uh, maybe put one in the bottom and in the top and uh, that'll help kind of seal everything up because my goal is to turn the engine over and um, and blow out any of that oil and junk that's in the uh, in the combustion chamber so and these are 13 millimeter head bolts that are on here over here on the passenger side of the engine compartment this solenoid sits right next to the recovery um, container for the radiator and it has this little post on the top you see that silver post it had this wire hooked in there and uh, what that is is the solenoid that goes down to your starter so instead of hitting the key and turning the engine over like that what we can do is simply uh, I've got this battery I've got charging uh, the other battery I'm just going to use to turn it over it only needs 12 volts so um, so what I've got is this this alligator clipped onto the post of the battery and then uh, I'm gonna put this up and there we go I don't want it to fall on my head alright so we're just gonna go to the to the post here and you'll hear the engine uh, start turning over but I'm not sending any signals to the injectors yet or anything like that so uh, what's going to happen is inside of here, the all that junk is going to get blown into the valve cover, and I'm going to change the oil soon, anyways. It needs to be changed, uh, but but it won't hurt it to, you know, flush whatever's in there out, and then I'll you know uh, change it later. So here we go. Uh, I'll show you here. All right. So uh, I just remembered before I did anything that I needed to take that. Uh, that rag I had in there out just in case that gets to spinning a little bit and uh, so yeah let's see here let's let's make sure everything is good so we've got our valve covers covered up uh, we've got all the electricals okay got my battery my battery's hooked up over there oh one other thing if you've got a manual make sure it's not in gear and your parking brake is set obviously but uh you don't want it you know because you don't have any control over your your clutch switch or anything with this so all right let's give it a go Okay, well that seemed to work pretty good. Um, everything sounded like it was, you know, puffing and chugging along and sounding good. So we'll open it up and uh, put our glow plugs back in and uh, go ahead and get our wiring harnesses on there and see if we can get it fired up. I got all the glow plugs in and this really worked well was this... Uh, 10 millimeter deep well quarter inch drive three inch quarter inch extension and I just put a little quarter inch to uh, three eighths adapter on there to, to use my three eighths ratchet but a quarter inch ratchet would be fine I didn't I didn't dog them down real hard either but uh, you can kind of see them in there there they are right right there Oop. right there so with the three eighths socket that I had on there I was really having a hard time getting around the uh, push rods, rocker arms, and the injector. So that's all on there. Um, so what's next here? We're going to do valve cover gaskets and the wiring harness. And uh, 
then we will be able to start it up. So let's let's get those on. Okay. So I've got my valve cover gasket here, and obviously it has the harness in it. Uh, we're gonna just lay it in there and just start hooking everything up. And um, yep, just like that. You know, so obviously you fold a little wire bale back like that and uh, pop it up in there and snap that over top of it. Uh, and then I just get some needle nose. Needle nose seem to work pretty good. Take your um, connector. See if you can get in there and see that. Take your connector and manipulate it. <clears throat> Let's see here. It is hard to do holding the camera, but I will get it hot. So yeah, hopefully you saw that. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, so got it on there, and just like that. Obviously, do that seven more times, and everything will be wired up. Oh, and before we get going too far, we can go ahead and hook up the uh, the harness here for the each each side now if you you know if you got a super duty it's just one big one in the middle but whatever this is a vintage old body style so get all that hooked up and uh, then we'll fire it up all right here we go we're gonna we're gonna start turning it over it's probably gonna take a little while to get it started uh, generally you know when you have these things completely open like that um, you know it's gonna take a little while to get the oil and fuel and everything kind of going so I'm gonna make sure you know I don't have any rags tools or anything near the belts or um, any you know, these parts or anything kind of floating around that shouldn't be everything looks okay uh, nothing's gonna fall off hopefully too far um, or anything that could get damaged everything looks okay so let's start turning it over All right, after some long cranking there, uh, it probably took about three of those cycles, maybe four. Uh, four shorter ones, but, uh, you know, some pretty heavy cycling there. And I got it to hit just a couple times, so I stopped. So let's see what it sounds like. And a big thanks to Vic down at uh, American Diesel Injection and uh, his quick turnaround service. Uh, he's a really cool guy to talk to and uh, does good work. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys having a great day and thank you so much for watching.